Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the Webmaster Academy. I'm Michael Wood, a Wix certified trainer, and I'm here to give you a quick tour and some web design tips for the Carpentry Services template from Wix.com. You don't have to be a carpenter or be into carpentry to take advantage of this template. If you provide any kind of service at all, you're going to learn from this template and you'll get some pointers on how to design either your own website or website for others. All right, so if that's what you want to do, then stick around. Let's get started. Hello everyone. Once again, I am Michael Wood at the Webmaster Academy. We're going to do a quick tour of this carpentry template from Wix.com. This is good for anyone who is providing any kind of service. You can learn how to design your own site or sites for others. This is just a quick overview. If you want to know more details on how to go from concept all the way to automation, then check us out at www.webmasteracademy.online. The link to that is in the show notes. Just check that out. This is the Welcome to Timberland, which is a fictitious business that sells carpentry services. The first thing I want to do is give you a sort of a tour guide or a tour through the website. Let me just check to see who we have with us. If, remember, if you're watching the replay, or if you're watching now, go ahead and give me a like or a happy face just so I know who's out there. I want to be able to answer any questions uh, you might have along the way. So this is the carpentry template. Let's take a look at some of the features. First of all, you'll notice it's a full screen photo. As you can see right here, Welcome to Timberland. The title is laid on top with a description right underneath. Obviously, you could change this to whatever service you're providing. Beautiful full screen photo. This is actually a really good image in that it's blurred. Uh, most About three fourths of it is blurred. If you look at my mouse, see this line that's going down? So this part is blurred which makes the text pop so if you do have a full screen photo you have a few options you can blur it just like this example or you can put a black uh, transparency or white transparency over the photo so that your text comes out more in this case we just did a blur effect and it's a very full screen now there's more to this website but I have to scroll down to get to that part up here at the top is the call to action which is to call the the service so this is not an e-commerce this is a service provider so their call to action is to get phone calls so if that's your main mode then this is something that you're gonna want to consider okay now this is not a one-page design like we've seen in the past this is actually a multi-page design so up here at the top you have the about us services gallery and contact page it's about five pages so this is really good for an average small business or startup website if you want to know what pages you should have just borrow off of this template Let's go ahead and scroll down, and as you can see, it's not this huge one-page website. It's just a title page, and that's it. You have the uh, social media icons down here in the lower right, and you have the copyright and whoever made your website credits down there. So, very simple home page. Let's go to About Us. I'll jump over here. And as you can see, you have more photography. 
Uh, and in this case, it's carpentry. So you want to show lots of wood. This is an important note to point out because people will have services like plumbing and then they'll have pictures that have nothing to do with plumbing or they'll have stock images of people sitting around an office building you know maybe they want to reach out to professionals so they'll have photos of corporate type of people walking around and so i encourage you that you want to not just use stock images but use images that have to do with your service so if you do gardening show pictures of a garden now that's one level that's better than just random images but a better better thing to do is to show authentic images so people want to see your actual work so if you do gardening for example you want to show pictures of the gardening that you have done so people can see your work it gives it builds trust and it gives authenticity uh, to your services and gives you some credibility now if you have a professional take good photos of your service and the things that you do now you have the best of both worlds it looks as good as stock images but they're authentic so that's really the ideal situation in the meantime, if you don't have authentic pictures or professional authentic pictures, then go ahead and just fill it in with stock images for now. But I just wanted to have just that quick little talk with you about good, better, and best, with best being professional, authentic images of the services you provide. If you're doing massages, then you want pictures of one of your employees giving a massage obviously you want to have the photo in such a way that you're not showing clients necessarily you just need to cut the photo off at the right place but again the more authentic the better so in the about us section show show off your work this is this show off time show what you can do and in this situation we have three columns one is on excellence and professionalism once is one is the second one is about being licensed and insured and third is the personalized approach now you don't have to use all three of those you can change them obviously but this gives you some good things to think about as an entrepreneur or small business and really before you even start the website think about three things that makes your small business or startup uh, different than the competitors and in this case maybe one or two things are at least competitively the same and maybe a third is what sets you apart so for example license and insured that helps build trust now there could be competitors carpentry competitors who are also licensed and insured so this doesn't necessarily differentiate you from the pack but at least puts you on the same playing field. So don't be afraid to put the same thing you might see that other competitors are doing. All of you, all of you should be licensed and insured. So at least you're in the same ballpark, right? And then the third one is the personalized approach. Now see, this is what might set you apart. So what's one thing that's different? And in this way, they're very personal. Maybe some carpentry uh, places are a little bit more commercial or they only use templates, you know, or there's only certain uh, items or products or projects that they do. This carpentry place is going to be very personal. And the first one is that excellence and professionalism, which is a quality that they have. Now, you might feel like that's, you know, bragging or boasting. Well, everyone thinks they're excellent. What makes you so excellent? Well, it's okay to mention it because these are the values that your service um, embraces. So if you embrace excellence and you embrace professionalism, those two qualities, you'll list them here. So those are three things you'll want to have in the About Us. You might want to also add more contact information. For example, if you're a brick and mortar uh, place, you might want to put that here. However, I did notice this template has a contact page, so you might want to save that for that one. 
Now, what's the difference between an About Us page and a Contact page? Let's just jump right on over the Contact so you can understand the difference. So here is where you have the ways to get in touch with you. You're going to have your social media icons. This is an auto mailer. A lot of times you don't want people to leave your website to go to their Gmail or their Yahoo or whatever they're using. Why? Because they're going to jump over, get distracted by some email that came in, and they may you know, forget or, or not um, contact you because they got distracted. So let's just get them to contact you right there on your website. And they don't even need an email provider to get in contact with you. So on here is the form, name, email, phone, and a message. Send will go straight to, uh, you can choose up to two different emails. I recommend you have a main email and then a backup email. I'm not saying the backup should be, you know, your mom or anything like that. Your backup email most likely should be to your web designer if you have a designer or an agency or your ad agency, just someone else who has a stake in the operations of your uh, service. So you might want to have a one email going straight to you and the other just as a secondary to marketing or designer. All right, get a free quote. Awesome. In need of a carpenter, here's the phone number. And then here is a map if you are a brick and mortar service. If you are an online service, obviously you would not have a, geo a geographical map. Again, at the top, you have the image or photo of whatever service you're providing. So I wanted to talk about the difference between a contact page and about us. So contact is just that. It's phone numbers, it's emails, and maps. About us are the three things that make you competitive and what separates you from the other competitors. Now, what is it that you do? What services do you provide? That's what this page is for. So services, you should be outlining the different things that you do, and you could even provide a price point. Now, there's a lot of debate out there on whether you should put the prices on your website or not. If you don't want to put your prices, then just say, call us to get a free quote. Maybe your prices are adjustable depending on the customer. Then go ahead and just uh, say to contact us. However, if your prices are more industry standard, such as I would say a, a hair salon, for example, they might have some custom pricing, but to some degree, getting a haircut and they're part of the city, those prices tend to be standard. So you might want to put those prices here and then people can decide. You know, it's better to filter out your audience right here than having to answer, you know, the phone every time someone just wants to know how much a haircut is. You know, so small services like that, go ahead and put your prices. If you have much bigger projects like uh, restoring your uh, homes or in this case, custom refurbishment, obviously you're not going to have any kind of price point. So the more custom things are, the bigger the projects, then the less likely you're going to put those pricing on your actual website. All right, so under services, put at least three things that you do and provide an image. You got to put an image in people's mind. For example, even if you're gar doing gardening and you're doing, you know, those gardens a drought that are drought tolerant, then put a picture of a drought tolerant garden. Make the images match the service. So we have handmade furniture, uh, custom refurbishment, and property maintenance. All right, those are three services, and you're going to describe in detail what exactly you're providing and what do you mean by property maintenance. For example, you know, do you mean commercial property, residential? You know, so this is where you want to filter out, and it's almost like you want to anticipate some of the questions people have about your services and get them answered on your website. Remember, a good website works for you 24 7, and so that's the sort of thing you want to be thinking about when listing your services, not just what you do, but anticipating the types of questions 
your clients may have and answering them on your website. All right, so in the gallery, you have a few photos right here, and this is where you really want to show off your work. You know, show us the things that you do. This is your bragging page. Put your best work here. Put your latest work here. Not only are you, you know, good at the services you provide, but you're doing them currently. So try to be current. Show the latest projects. Now, these are all stock images. I would say for gallery, you don't want to fill it with um, stock images. Only be authentic. And if they're not professional, that's fine because it's a gallery page and people understand that the photos might not be as high quality, but they're authentic. Whereas your title page should be either stock or professional uh, because it's only a representative of your business. Whereas the gallery is very specific to the services you provide. So that's a basic uh, website right there. It's all about the who you are, the three things that you do really well, the services you provide, a gallery showing different examples of your work, and the best way for people to contact you. And again, that call to action is in the top. Very simple and clean website without a lot of distractions. I, I won't really go into the editor because there's not a lot of things that we're going to be changing here other than your service. If you want, I'll go ahead and click edit this site. And I'm going to check the chat to see if anybody has any direct questions you want me to answer. If you're watching the replay, make sure that you uh, send me any questions. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So right now I'm just loading up the editor and I just wanted you to see how you can make a quick change to the images and the text. I'm just doing a quick reload here. All right, how do you guys like this? Do you like this website? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Give me your comments. If you like this overview, if you have any ideas for your own, own website, uh, again, let me know in the comments. All right, just checking the comment feed. So far, so good. Looks like uh, nobody has any questions at this time. Here's, I'm now in the editor. Let me just show you how to switch out images and text. That's really the only things you have to be concerned about for this template. What about this big, huge home page? How do you switch this out? Well, what you want to do is you're going to change. It looks like this is built on a strip, this entire thing. I don't think, I don't even see a header. Oh, there it is. The header is up there. Okay, this strip actually goes all the way to the top. Very tricky. Uh, I want to show you what I mean. The strip, I'm going to drag this down. And as you can see, the header is solid black. The strip has the image in it. But what this designer did is they took the strip all the way to the top so that way your header blends in with the home page. It creates a, a really clean look. So let's change the strip background and we can change it to whatever the appropriate service. Just click on image. You can upload your own images or go to uh, free images from Wix.com. Let's say you're a massage parlor. Oh, I was looking in nature. Let's look up massage. Okay, so here's some great stock images. Find one that's going to work for you. This is just an example of uh, just showing you how you could change it. So let's do this acupuncture image here. Okay, welcome to Timberland. I don't know if that's a good title for an acupuncture. Uh, I better switch that out. I want you to see that you can also switch to video. So I'm going to go to free uh, videos from Wix. Let's do a quick preview. And here you have full screen video 
with your title. And I love having that little bit of animation in there. So it's not, the picture isn't moving. You get kind of that, that great combination of a professional still image with a little bit of video to keep people's interest. So that's how you switched it out. Just click on change strip background. And then you double check, uh, double click the text to change out the text. And if you don't like the font, all you need to do is go to the drop down menu. You're going to change the font to something that you like a little bit better. So let me try that again. I had to highlight it, change the text. There we go. Uh, that's probably not the best font. I just want to show you how to switch that out. Let's then go to the About Us page. And again, this is text, so you can change that. If you want to change the color of the text, click on Edit Text and then switch the color. Now, here is the color palette. It's white, yellow, orange, blue, and kind of this olive color, olive green. If you want to change all of them, go to the palettes here and just ch pick a different palette that matches your brand. And you can do custom colors by double clicking and putting in a hex code there and saying add. And what they do is they show you all the different shades. And so that'll change all the colors on your site. If you want more detail on how to change colors and if you want to understand how to make palettes and color theory check out my 201 class in at the academy uh, especially for designers that's my design it class all right so that's how you switch out the images at the top here this is just a looks like it's a strip so we'll change the strip background to whatever matches your brand Okay, let's try this full screen video of snow and the forest. All right, there we go. So that's how you switch out the strip on that page. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the rest of the pages are all strips at the top and or you're switching out images and text. The only thing you might want to add to this site is a blog. And um, I have a different t video tutorial on adding blogs. So you could add a blog to the site, or you could even put a members only um, page that shows certain videos, maybe how to or tips and tricks, and really establish yourself as an authority in this field, especially if you are providing a service. Uh, having a blog or a member site where people, you can even make the member site free where they see how-to videos really helps establish that trust and authority that's important for services. All right, so that is how you update the Carpentry Services template from Wix.com. Let me just check the chat. All right, everybody, so far so good. If you like this video, please give me a like or a heart or subscribe to this channel and check us out at www.webmasteracademy.online. I'll see you guys next time. Come back to this channel and we'll see what template I'm gonna dig up next. I'll see you guys again. Thank you for joining me, bye-bye.